11 years ago. I came to live at Warm Springs for the first time. That was a period of great so-called prosperity. But my friends, I would not go back to the conditions of 1924, and I do not believe that you people would want to go back to those conditions either. Of that year, and of the five years that followed it, I have a somewhat clear recollection, which you can verify for yourself. In that orgy of prosperity, a wild speculation was building speculative profits for the speculators and preparing the way for you, the public, to be left holding the bag. America, and that's why we're not going back to them. Those are the years for us to remember in the future. Those fool's paradise years before the crash came. Too much do we harp on the years that followed, when from 1929 to 1933, this whole nation slipped spirally downward, ever downward to the inevitable point when the mechanics of civilization came to a dead stop on March 3rd, 1933. You and I need not rehearse the four years of disaster and gloom. We know the simple fact that at the end of those four years, America acted before it was too late. America turned about, and by a supreme, well-nigh unanimous national effort, started on the upward path again. I still recollect the need for, and the successful attainment of a banking policy, which not only opened the closed banks, but guaranteed the deposits of the depositors of the nation. I mentioned a few weeks ago. I realize Let me talk to you some more about money. Today, today is the 29th day of November. Two days ago, something happened. It gives me a certain satisfaction to be able to inform you and through you, the nation, that two days ago, by actual figures, there were 3,125,000 persons at work on a great variety of useful projects in every state in the Union. The small remaining number have received orders to report to work on projects already underway or about to be started. That result, my friends, I believe you will agree with me, constitutes a substantial and successful national achievement. 